Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked below this video. Um, welcome into a Yarn and Yarns extra video. Um, I want to chat to you about the Summer of Socks Knit Along. Um, before I do that, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone for your kind thoughts, um, your suggestions, your well wishes on the last video that I popped up um, on the channel about my shop closing. Um, I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video because I wanted to focus on the cow, but I just wanted to say thank you all so so much um, your comments were just so touching and knowing that I've got um, so many people um, cheering me on and um, wishing me the best uh, is just really it's really a bright spot in this difficult time um, so thank you so so much that's all I'm gonna say about that today because I don't want to get super emotional like I did on the last video we are here to talk about socks 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 um so on the last vlog this week um I mentioned that I wanted to try and work through some of my sock whips so I decided to have a impromptu sock knit along for the next two months so from now until September the 14th um, I hope you will join me in working um on lots of lovely pairs of knitted and crocheted socks I am going to be using this as an excuse to get through my works in progress i have got six um sock projects on needles at the moment um but new cast ons are completely welcome and depending on how i get on with my socks um, i might end up casting on a pair or two myself as well and um, one of the reasons that i took a look at my sock whips is because i've got i think two pairs of socks that i really would like to cast on and um, one is a gift pair and one is a pair of socks um that's a pattern that I was gifted a while ago that I really want to cast on um, and I almost picked up my needles and then I kind of took a step back and looked at my um pile of whips and realized I already had six pairs on the needles so I figured I should get some of those done before I treat myself to um, some new cast ons so that was kind of the impetus behind this knit along there seemed to be um, a little bit of enthusiasm for this idea um, in the comment section under the last vlog um, so I hope as many of you will join in as possible um, the lovely Zoe who is pins and needles um, here on YouTube and also everywhere on the interwebs has offered up two copies of her as requested sock pattern um, for any people who want to dip their toes into sock making for the first time. So if you have been thinking about making socks um, now and you want to dive on in, um, then let me know. Um, Zoe has offered up two copies of her pattern. Um, one has already been claimed because um, someone commented under the last video that they were interested but uh, hadn't knit socks before. So I've op offered up one copy of the pattern to her. Um, so we've got one um, copy left. Uh, so I think I'll just um, offer it up to the first per person that comments under this video that they would um, like to join in and this will be their best try at sock knitting. Um, Zoe has said that she can either send the pattern through Ravelry or if you're having um, access issues with Ravelry at the moment um, she can send a PDF so uh, yeah comment below if you're interested in that um, amazing offer from Zoe. Thank you so much Zoe that's wonderful. The Cal Prize is sponsored by Caroline um, another lovely friend of mine who is the genius behind colourful creativity and Caroline recently um, allowed me to claim two of her sock sets and these are both sock set number one um, and there's, they're these gorgeous speckly um, orange -y yellow colours. Um, one has a contrast yellow mini, one has a contrast orange mini. Together with those I've got some progress keepers. I picked out a yellow progress keeper to go with the yellow contrast and an orange one to go with the orange contrast. Thank you so much for these uh, Caroline, that's so so generous of you. So um, I will pick using random number generator um, a, a name from someone who posts a finished pair of socks to win these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna give away both of these sock sets for this knit along. Um, I think I'm gonna say, I know maybe it sounds a bit stingy, but I'm not sure um, how much participation we'll have. Um, but if we have more than 20 finished pairs of socks, then I'll give away both of those for this giveaway. If we have less than 20, then um, perhaps I'll give away one of those sock sets and then save the other one for a, another make along later in the year so i hope that sounds okay to you um, you can join in via the ravelry group which is linked below um, or over on instagram if you're having um accessibility issues with ravelry i don't want to exclude you so if you want to participate over on 
Instagram, then you're more than welcome to. Um, just tag your pictures with um, hashtag YNYSOS, um, which stands for Yarn and Yarns Summer of Socks. And um, I will make sure that anyone who posts a finished object using that tag is mixed together um, in the sort of prize pot with anyone who posts a picture of their finished socks on Ravelry. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, so yes, thanks to Zoe for the offer of patterns and uh, thank you to Caroline for that prize. I am so happy to be able to give that away to one of you. I will be using this as, as an excuse to work through my whip pile but of course you can cast on new socks if you want to um, anything counts really um, as long as it's an adult sock it can be a short sock but an adult sock um, in any form counts for this make along so let's take a little tour of my whip pile shall we I've basically just grabbed um, all of the project bags that have um, sock whips in and I'm just going to pick them up at random from the pile and show you what's inside. Um, so first off I've got this teeny tiny um, little project bag that was made from an old Welsh wool blanket and I picked this up at a local craft fair. Um, it's so teeny and cute and it is just big enough to be able to hold one ball of sock yarn and a pair of needles. Um, so inside here I have got um, a sock which is going to be gifted to my father-in-law for Christmas hopefully. <laughs> um, with the aid of this knit along hopefully I'll get these finished um, I'm knitting these from West Yorkshire Spinners in the Bullfinch colourway and I knit a three by one rib sock for my father-in-law um, so no earth shattering pattern but um, they make for nice uh, stretchy socks and I think I cast these on um, at some point towards the beginning of the year when I needed a um, kind of mindless sock project to work on in the shop before lockdown um but yeah I obviously we went into lockdown and these went away so they haven't seen that much progress and um, so that is pair number one to be worked on and it'd be nice to get those finished by um the middle of September because that'll be one Christmas gift off the list Project number two is living in a TARDIS uh, project bag. Uh, I have a lovely pair of socks in here uh, designed by Caroline of Colourful Creativity. Um, these are Caroline's sleepover socks, which is her relatively new release pattern um, inspired by her gran and she released these um, on her gran's 90th birthday. Um, it's a beautiful pattern with cables and lace running down the front. It's just plain on the back. And I'm knitting these from some onion nettle sock yarn um, so it's a mix of wool and nettle and the nettle is acts as a replacement for nylon so my first time using this yarn in socks um, I also have this yarn um, being knit in my Ultra sweater but I'm interested to see how this wears for socks so uh, yeah excited to work on these this pattern is really addictive um, the repeat it looks fairly complex but it really is quite straightforward uh, the repeat is quite memorizable and you just want to kind of get through a pattern repeat get through a pattern repeat uh, so this leg flew off the needles in no time um, and then my knitting mojo just generally kind of went for a wander <laughs> so these have been languishing somewhat and um, these are as long as I'm going to make my leg they're a little bit shorter than I usually do my sock um, but I'm going to pop in the heel flap and get going on the foot on these and I think that's why I paused on these socks so I'm looking forward to getting back to those um, so that's the sleepover socks by uh, Caroline uh, next up uh, this project bag is probably quite familiar because I have been um, showing this on and off for the last few weeks on the podcast um, inside here are my Lemmy socks and um, this is a colorway from Attic Spin Dye and the yarn was very kindly gifted to me um, by Andy and Angela of Attic Spin Dye um, and I've just been so enjoying these vanilla socks. Um, I've started the second sock. A little bit of a spoiler for this week's podcast um, because I was still on the first sock last week. Um, so I, I won't show you the finished sock, but I'll just show you my progress on the second sock. Um, I cast these on yesterday, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, onto the second sock for that now. So those should definitely get completed during this knit along. Um, I'm still going to keep this as my kind of out and about beach knitting project. Um, so it may still be a week or two before these are done, but I think um, in the sort of time of this cow, there's no reason those ones won't be off of the needles. And then I have a project bag that I made myself. This is from some Kaffa Facet fabric. And inside these are my self 
designed giraffe socks these are a pair of socks for my sister and i'm working on the second sock but i've paused um you might remember these from the beginning of the year my sister just messaged me randomly um, and said she wanted some giraffe socks so i decided to design a pair uh, sort of like giraffe inspired print um i finished the first sock and i sent it to her just before lockdown um, to for her to try on. I have knit socks for her before, but um, obviously a colour work sock is a little bit different. You get a little bit uh, less stretch in a colour work sock uh, than you do just in a plain sock. Uh, so I wanted to um, make sure that that first sock fit her okay before I went to the effort of knitting the second. Um, so I sent it to her, she tried it on, she said they were perfect and she would send it back to me because um, I hadn't grafted the end of the toe just in case it didn't fit. Um, so I started the leg of the second sock and as you can see I got as far as putting in the heel flap uh, but I kind of need my sister to send that first sock back um, I can't remember exactly how I picked up these stitches um, in terms of whether I used one colour or did I alternate the colours when I was picking up um, I want them to match so I kind of need that um, first sock back um, but my sister works in a care home for um, elderly folks so she has been super super busy with work um since the whole coronavirus situation and hasn't had a chance to send that sock back to me which is absolutely fine um i'm super proud of the hard work that my sister does so um there's no rush for these socks um i'm sure she will get round to making a trip to the post office when um she a has time and b it's safe for her to do so so um these may not get finished um during the cow um i could just pick up and carry on because i'm sure it won't really matter to my sister if the socks don't match 100 percent um so yeah we might just see how far i get with the rest of the socks if i'm kind of left with having cast everything else off now that that's a um super ha happy and positive thought isn't it um, then maybe i'll just work on those anyway i think the likelihood of that is probably fairly slim <laughs> um on to pair number five i think um so this is living in a lovely bag from frog peak creations i love moose as you know and when i saw this in her shop i had to um grab this one and these are my zigzag socks and these are the socks that i've had on the needles for the longest time um i've kind of been on the fence about whether to frog these or carry on with them they're a colour work sock pattern and these are going to be for me um, but the colours I've chosen are quite low contrast and I've kind of been going backwards and forwards should I finish should I frog um, but I think I'm actually going to finish I like the uh, low contrast um, although it's quite a lot of effort to put into something that doesn't like show up amazingly well um, I, I really just like the kind of muted effect um, so it's I can't remember who the designer of the sock pattern is um, but I'll pop a link below to my project which will take you to the pattern page via Ravelry um, maybe I'll also put the designer name on the screen in case you don't want to go to Ravelry at the moment um, but these are my zigzag socks um, the pattern is actually showing up um, a lot better on the camera than it kind of does to the eye in real life um, so it's just a really simple kind of chevron pattern and I'm using um, Wendy Rome for the background which is actually the same yarn that I used for um, the shy flight socks that I test knit for Jenny recently I obviously forgotten that I was using this and I'd snagged two balls of this uh, so that's the Wendy Rome and then I'm using uh, this ball of opal for the contrast color uh, so quite some way to go but I might actually um, start these socks in rotation now uh, I think it'd be quite nice to work on the oldest to newest if that makes sense um, as I'm working through my whips for this knit along uh, so yeah zigzag socks pair number five and that leaves the last but not least pair um, in this lovely bag um, I'm afraid uh, I know I bought it from Charlie Button yarns at the knit tea retreat and I know her sister makes these bags but I can't remember the name that her sister goes by when she's making the project bags and um, but it's this really nice um, kind of grey pinstripe on the outside and orange pinstripe on the inside beautiful bag and it's really quite nice and big um, as you can see there's plenty of room at the top there um, and I've got a couple of balls of yarn in here. Uh, this is a lovely kit uh, that my friend Jeanette sent to me. And um, I cast this on for my 12 cast-ons of Christmas uh, this last Christmas and New Year time. Um, and this is from Yarns, Yarns by Abby. 
artistic yarn by Abby and it's dyed in this really interesting way that um, it's kind of self patterning in that um, as you knit these sheep appear if you knit at the right tension so it takes a little bit of a finagling and if I remember rightly one of my sheep had gone a bit wonky so, yeah <laughs> so I don't know if you can see it's probably not so obvious here but the sort of muzzle on the sheep has gone a bit skew -if. so I needed to take oh there it is not that one this one look can see he's going off on the wonk there uh, so I need to take back a few stitches and uh, adjust my tension slightly to sort that out that out uh, but it's a really fun interesting knit I just haven't had a chance to go back to it um, since I cast on and then obviously my knitting mojo disappeared quite a bit so I haven't been knitting as much as um, I have done in the past so I'll be excited to get back to these and see these lovely little sheeps appear uh, so yes they are all my confessions of a sock starter <laughs> they are all my sock whips so if I work on them in order of oldest to newest that will be uh, zigzag socks sheep socks what would come next probably giraffe socks um, father-in-law socks although they might be the other way around and then lemmy socks and sleepover socks not entirely sure if that's exactly the right order but similar ish so yeah all of the project bags with all of the sock whips <laughs> so yeah i'm actually quite excited and enthusiastic about this make along it'd be nice to get some of those projects off of the needles so i hope below you'll tell me about your sock knitting plans um, have you got lots of sock whips that you want to work through? Um, have you got a lovely skein of yarn that you want to cast on a new pair of socks? Um, tell me the patterns that you'll be using. Tell me all of the things in the comments below uh, because I love to know. I'm pretty darn gosh nosy like that. <laughs> right, well I'm going to sign off and I am going to take this project bag downstairs with me and maybe pop in a few rows worryingly the pattern is missing from this bag so I'm wondering if I was following along with the pattern on my phone I tried to do that uh, for a couple of projects and I really didn't get on with that um, so I might have to print a copy of the pattern out um, if that was the case I much prefer a pattern um, in front of me than trying to read it off my phone anyway that's by the by you know you don't need to know all of that that stuff <laughs> i'm just waffling so until we get to spend time together again i hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy and maybe that will include a little bit of sock knitting along with me or sock crocheting great big woolly hugs to you all bye for now